Hello and welcome to the Scratch Coding Class. This is the final video of the 6 minute series and I'm going to be explaining all the Scratch blocks in 6 minutes. If you did not check out the other 5 videos of the series, make sure to do so and subscribe if you haven't already. Let's get started. Ok, so these are going to be really quick explanations. So we're going to start for the final time in 3, 2, well, let's go move steps and moves in a certain number of steps in the direction it's pointing in. Uh, turns, turns clockwise, certain number of degrees, turns anti clockwise, certain number of degrees, goes to a random position, or the mouse pointer goes to a certain coordinate, and X is across the lines up and down, glides, it basically just moves there, not instantly, and then points, points in a certain direction in the degrees, points towards the mouse pointer, changes X, uh, increases or decreases the X coordinate, sets it, it sets it, change Y similar, and then we've got um, if on edge point, if it's on the edge, and then it will uh, go back and backdrop. X position, X coordinate of sprite, Y position, Y Y coordinate is right, direction, direction is pointing and looks. Say something for a certain num number of seconds, it says something forever. This thinks something, it's a think bubbles for a certain number of seconds, this thinks something forever. Then we've got costumes, uh, basically what the sprite can look like. So this switches it and this uh, moves to the next one. Uh, backdrop, it, it's basically the stage. Um, it's called or the background and the next backdrop you can switch it and then we've got changing effects or you can set the effect and this basically changes how the sprite looks. Clear effect, clears all the effects, show you can see the sprite hide, you can't see the sprite. Uh, if you go front there, if there's more than one sprite it will go in front so you can see that one. Go forward there, similar and then we've got um, costume number, number of the costume, backdrop number and number of the backdrop and size of size. And then sound, plays the sound until done, starts the sound, very similar. Um, and then stops all sounds currently playing, this changes or sets an effect and it's pan left to right or pitch, this clears all the effects, uh, this um, changes the volume as how loud it is and then this sets the volume and this is the value of the volume. Events, uh, when green flag click, when the green flag click code underneath it will execute when any key on the keyboard is pressed, then when um, the sprite is clicked, when the backdrop switches to a certain backdrop, when the loudness is greater than something. Uh, or timer when uh, messaging, if a sprite can send a message to another sprite and if um, it receives then, uh, uh, then the code underneath will execute. These are broadcast message blocks. Control waits a certain number of seconds, repeats something for a certain number of times forever, repeats forever. If, if a condition is true, here if a condition is true or if a condition is false, then we've got wait until a condition is true, repeat until a condition is true, um, stop all, it stops everything, stop this script, stops the script, and this block is on, other scripts, it stops every script but that script, and then we've got, um, when I start as a clone, and create clone, cloning is basically like a copy of the sprite, so if you create a clone, and then this is when the clone is started, and to delete the clone, you use this block, sensing, when it's touching something, um, or another sprite, uh, when, is touching a certain colour, when a colour is touching another colour, the distance towards the mouse pointer and this ask a question and the answer um, is this block and then we've got a, if a key on the keyboard is pressed, if the mouse is down um, and then we've got the coordinates of the mouse and um, if the sprite can be dragged, um, how loud a microphone is, timer, a timer key starts from zero and beginning of script it keeps ticking up and that's to reset it's back to zero, backdrop number of something and then we've got current year um, or month or whatever, day since 2000, username, online scratch, see who's using your project, adds, subtracts two values, multiplies two values, divides two values, um, random number from 1 to 10 um, or any other value you choose, greater than, less than, equal to, if both conditions are true, one or two of these are true and not, so it's not true. Then we've got uh, joining um, um, strings, and then we've got if the letter of a word length is how many characters are in your word, if uh, something contains a letter, modulus is remainder when you divide, round as you round it um, to the nearest whole number, and these are mathematical functions. Variables is like a, a suitcase of data, um, that stores numbers or words or whatever, so sets it, sets um, the value of it, changes it, increases or decreases it by a certain amount, show and hide and see it, lists or basically like more than one variable, I'm just going to type random name for a list, um, let's go, um, add thing to the list, it just adds um, a, a, a value to the list, delete, it deletes it, delete everything in the list, this inserts a thing at, so, and this replaces the item, um, this is the item, and this is the item number of the word in it, the length, and then if uh, it contains whatever, show and hide, you can see it, my blocks, basically like a function, you can create a new block, um, and this defines it, and you can use this in any script, and then it will, you can execute the code on the design block. A pen, erase all, clears everything, stamp, um, creates a copy um, of the sprite. A pen down, you can write with a pen up, you can't, sets the pen color, uh, change the pen color, um, all the same. Pen size is how thick the pen is, um, and then we've got 
Music, players at size of drums are a certain number of beats, rest are a certain number of beats, beats are not the same as seconds, it's the measure of music, it uh, plays a, a note on the piano, um, or you can change it to any other instrument, and then tempo is how fast it is, you can change it or set it, and that is the tempo value. And then we've got Lego EV3 blocks, um, motor A will turn a certain direction, clockwise I think, for what, um, a certain seconds this turns anti-clockwise and this is the port and then we've got set the power of a motor then this is the position of the motor and this is in the circular motion so it's a number of degrees when the button is pressed and then when the distance this is the ultrasonic sensor and then brightness is the light sensor when it's less than a certain value if button when button is pressed um, it's the touch sensor when the touch sensor is pressed and same with that block then we've got distance, the ultrasonic sensor, brightness, how bright it is, and then beat note. And we need to do strong customization. This makes the sound a bit faster, this makes it slower and louder, and softer, and you can watch how um, the shape changes. Then mutes, fades in, fades out, reverse, and robot, and makes it robotic. Reverse just changes the um, direction of the shape. And we have 15 seconds left, so I think that's everything I wanted to explain. Let me just double check. Motion, look, sound, events, control, sensing, operators, variables, my blocks, pen, music, uh, Lego EV3. And that is it uh, for the 6 minute series. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video. That is um, the 6 minute series now finished. I don't think I will do a 5 minute series because it is basically much impossible to explain all the scratch blocks in 5 minutes in detail. So um, if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like on it and subscribe if you want to see more and I will see you soon. Bye for now.